I bumped into um, Andy, who's the CEO of Adnams. I bumped into him in the UEA. We had a real good chat about technology and how, uh, how he wants to input technology into, into some of the pubs that he owns and how it might be able to improve his processes and help him out. Today is just about sitting down with him and, um, him and his CTO and going through some of the, some of the technology they use and see if they can, uh, they, they can improve their processes and improve their margins to give their pubs a better chance of success and better chance of visibility. And that, that's what POS basically does, right? One of the guys from Norwich I work with as well, uh, they're looking at NFC, so basically ordering from table. So Apple in the next update are releasing automatic NFC. So you should be able to tap the phone next to an NFC signal beacon and boot up menus, order the table, things like that. So hopefully we can get him to talk about some of that technology today and see if it's interested in trialing or adopting some. Should be quite interesting. Really exciting moment. We're in the Adams uh, South Pole flagship store, as you can see. And come with me. We've got some uh, tills, tills of ours in store. So if we go down here, excuse me. You can see through the cafe. Very exciting moment, as you can see. Our tills on show. Zoom into the brand. Brilliant. Just want to know what you like, haven't you? That's a good one, isn't it? Exactly. All these people enjoying food, bought from our lovely tills. It's all the better. <laughs> they do say that uh, retail high street has gone down 2% last month. But as you can see in here, uh, they're showing no signs of hit here. It's packed. Although they, they've been going hundreds and odd years and they're, uh, they're a brewery and they sell beer and obviously we sell technology, I think there's some links there. And I'll be very interested in talking to Andy today as, as a business that you know, exports overseas as well as we do. So there's quite a lot of um, similarities there, you know what I'm saying? Right, where are we? We're in here. You just might want to uh, stop filming until yeah. they ask you. Tom, so we just um, we're about to go in and, and have a chat with Andy, yeah. uh, who's the CEO of uh, of Adnams. Uh, I believe you're responsible for for getting this all together. Am I right? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, we got approached by their um, head of IT, who's been handling. So, so they've got a couple of our systems in a couple of their uh, managed pubs. They like the software, and what they want to do is sort of discuss and see that how we can improve the the offering in the retail stores, and then moving on to to the pubs as well and say what well, the great thing is is obviously they're a very established hospitality um, company we're sort of a, a very new sort of growing company and, and it's nice that we're now aligning ourselves they've got some great ideas and and how they want to engage the customer using a lot of our our new technology um, so it gives us a great opportunity to you to use all those sort of different areas well I mean Jason and I had a really good chat and we talked about where technology is going and um, you know the renewal of our information technology systems that was all important but but all of this is about putting the customer at the heart of what we do so uh, epos now products can help us serve the customer better give us greater um, in-depth knowledge of, our, of, of, of our business activity uh, and that's going to serve us really well yeah because i think one of the, the key areas especially talking with the retail side was allowing the staff members to you know take the tablet walk around and and we, we sort of went through and there's, there's an option for like a pop-up of, of having some brief or in-depth information on that a product so the staff member can go, oh, what are you looking for? Oh, well, I want to buy some beer for my dad, but I have no idea what I'm getting. Yeah. Your staff member can then go, this yes. is... Yes, uh, I mean, that's right. And, and, and in so many respects, um, this is about sort of codifying the tacit knowledge that some of our more experienced staff have sure. and enable that you know, almost a new starter will be able to serve that customer as well as someone who had been there for a number of years because your technology is enabling them to have that information at their fingertips. Because you don't want a sort of clunky conversation, do you? You want to be able to do that in a way that, that, that feels natural, you know, in the way that we're chatting now, really, and this technology enables that. I think uh, people are coming to our stores for a service experience. They're in good locations. We want people to be relaxed when they're shopping with us. And we want our staff to have a sort of pride and, and, and sort of communicate a passion for our products. And that all comes through. 
Um, we already hear that now, and we've not delivered up the technology yet. Sure. So it gives, um, them, more it gives yeah. them more confidence. It gives them more confidence. And, um, you know, we can do that in a way that the technology doesn't get in the way yeah. of that customer conversation. I think that's important as well. You know, again, it's how do you make things really easy and that the technology is get, not getting in the way of that. And I think what you're proposing is, is some of the best that we've seen in that, in that space. So, you know, again, just making things really easy for yeah. the customer. And adopting your sequence of service and exactly. customer experience along it, 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 Exactly. And that's part of the sort of transformation that we've got to bring about. So, um, you know, we, we were formed in 1872, but uh, we've learned a lot from EPOS now, you know, a fairly young startup company. I think you've put the customer at the heart of what you're, yeah. you're doing. Uh, we've got to continue to do that. Now, we've done that for the whole 145 years that we've been around, but the customer expectation is changing all the time. Uh, and we've got to move with the times. Do you find that you, will there be any sort of stumbling blocks or anything like that? Do you think when, not necessarily, or potentially with the, the existing customer base you have, do you feel like they come to you for a certain thing or they might be a bit taken aback by some development? No, I don't, I don't think so actually. I think our, our customers are, are willing to come with us on that journey. Yeah. Um, only this morning I was talking about our uh, a pack that we're bringing out. It's a sort of subscription scheme. It's called the Gindulgence Pack. So it, it gives three exclusive gins to people and they get that on a quarterly basis. Um, we looked at the sign-ups for that. They are mainly younger consumers mainly female consumers, so it's Adnams reaching out to a new audience as well, which is great news. Excellent, and then that leads you to then tailor that set up in the retail outlets to, to make it, Exactly nice. right, exactly right. And, and bringing all that sort of online technological experience together with our offline businesses is where for us is the sweet spot. You know, this technological change is, is coming like a steam train. Yeah. And I think businesses have got to embrace that. And, uh, you know, we're having a you know relatively good time. Our brand is in good health, but it's time for us to start a new curve uh, and move the business forward again. And, and using technology not to get in the way, but for us to serve our customers better. To improve visibility, not only for exactly. the business, but sure, the job. I think that's everything. Yeah. Have a drink, huh? yeah. Good meeting with um, with with Adams, the CEO, and he's a really nice guy. What they want to do is they want to professionalise their business, so they want to use technology to to professionalise the whole operation. Right? It sounds like they've already done that in the distillery over there because the operation they've got is fantastic. It's it's basically like um, completely automated. The distillery can start before anyone's there. It's phenomenal, and they want to do that with a website, with a rollout, and with all the technology. And that's that's where we can help. But Adams like 150 years old or 200 old business. I don't know. It's old, right? And that's the thing, it's a family, it's a previous family run business, but now they need to they need to think like a technology business. And Andy, the CEO there, you know, he, he understands that they need to think like a technology business. And, and that's why they invited me today, just have a chat through the process and look at where they can deploy technology to make efficiencies. See, it's not that hot. Well, you, these people got the beach in any day, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, come on. But you know, Southfold's a lovely place. We've had fun today, haven't we, Shah? Had a great day. Okay. I'll probably fish and chips after this, so uh, fish and chips. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 